it's 5 a.m. That's right. I don't even think it's five o'clock yet. It's nearly five o'clock. And we're off to the train station because today we're off to Lisbon. Look at that. I remembered it. Very misty this morning though. But off we go. Well, another thing I've learned about Porto is uh, they're not a nation of early risers, that's for sure. It is like a ghost town here. So they like the lines and they like their siestas. Kind of my sort of people, really. We're nearly at the train station now. We've made it to the train station. We were here a few days ago when we booked our tickets. And this was packed. <laughs> not today. Well, not at the moment, anyway. Time to get a coffee, I think. You can never really see the point of espressos, but man, have I got into them. They wake you up. So Sue's having an English tea, which is hot water with the tea bag. We want some milk with it, so they only do cups. But you're not the whole lot was like three euros, so we're not complaining. Got flats there, and then you've got this. It's a weird, weird building to have where people live. I'm guessing there's a purpose to it. Bit overcast this morning, but they reckon it's going to be 26 today, so at some point, still fairly early, the sun will burn through. We'll be in well. Well, that is one weird building. These people know that I'm not a handyman, but if I was a roofer, it would look like that. Get a bit closer now. That is completely collapsed. Yep, that's about what I would do if I was a roofer. matter of time I think before that all goes. The sun is out so this is what we did we got off at a stop earlier and we're walking through like industrial states and I'm thinking do you know what Lisbon's not that nice and then this is the stop we should have got off and it's all very pretty all very pretty and the boats are in harbour and this is sort of designed for the holiday makers oh well we only added about three miles not too bad. And a cute little side street where the owner can't speak English and we can barely speak Portuguese and we've managed to order some food, some hamburgers and some omelettes and some fries, typical Portuguese food, and a couple of cakes. So, I look at their menu just written in paper, it's great. It's a really cute little place. I reckon the food would be good as well. Order a typical Spanish food, cheeseburger and a cheese and ham omelette and I've got fries to come. We like to eat like the locals do. This is the lookout who was reading about. And we've, uh, you can certainly see why it's called that. It's huge. Just huge. Huge view. You see for miles, miles and miles and miles. See the sea, it's just gorgeous. So we're inside Valem, building Valem. And we're waiting to go up, I guess, again. Very popular the higher you go. This building is old. I don't know how old, but I'm sure you can look it up on Google. Valen, building on the sea. We've already walked about 13 miles, so we thought we'd get a taxi to Hard Rock, Lisbon. Now maybe a drink. I'm not feeling that hungry. Might have a little snack. Definitely going to have a cold Coke though, because I am thirsty. Let's go have a little look in there. We're in this beautiful square just as the sun is setting. It's lovely. Probably about half an hour from our train station. We've had a really good day in Lisbon. We've done some miles. Recommend up to about 15, 16 miles today. We bring our tally up to about 50 miles in Lisbon so far, but what a beautiful square. A lot of people just stood here and sat here watching. What are they watching? They're watching that. Sun going down over the bridge and the water lapping up on the beach. It's about as beautiful and as romantic as you can get, really. It's not lovely. Creation at its best. We've made it to our correct train station, the one we should have got off originally. Lisboa Santa Apollinia. And our, it's seven o'clock and our train is half past seven, so not bad time really. Good long day, I reckon we've done easy 15 miles today, easy. We'll see you in a minute. Decided to get a taxi back when our uh, train stopped because it's a bit late. What time is it now? 
uh, 11 something, 11.30 I think. So, uh, time for a shower and bed. Good night all.